So I hate writing code like this. Well, oh, so. I hate writing code like this. The uh, loop variables got hoisted out of the loop, and I have to do the test twice. What I want to do is write code that looks like this, where at the end of the loop, there's an optional block to do stuff if the loop ends naturally, and there's another optional block to do stuff if it ends uh, with a break. Right. <laughs> Python does one of these. It's called else. We can't do else for syntactical reasons. Um, but I want to do both. And um, does all kinds of cool things. So um, let's look at a couple of them. Here's an example with while. This is kind of just ugly. I'd rather do this. Here's an, here, but this is where it really gets interesting because here, um, because we're using range based, um, a range based for loop, it gets really nasty to try and do this, right? See what I'm doing here? If this were an R value, like a function call returning the container, which is a, a very useful pattern, right? I can't even do this at all, right? I have to put it in a function. I don't necessarily want to put it in a function. What I want to do is this. So we'll write some last. Yes, oh, thank you, um, absolutely. So the uh, lifetime of, of the uh, loop um, variable and, of course, of, of the container lasts into the uh, break condition. The loop variable is undefined in the final condition. Uh, I'm sure one of you was about to say, but, but you can do it with... with uh, go to. You can, <laughs> absolutely. You can do it with go to. And you can do it with... Um, with lambdas, but do you really want to write this? Do you really want to teach this? Well, Titus. I think you just also implied that you're lifetime extending the right hand side of the loop. Yeah. Because that currently isn't. Yes. So thank God. <laughs> well, lifetime it currently isn't. There's nothing to extend it to, right? Oh, the container's lifetime is extended, not the full expression. Not full expression. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> um, so I don't like I don't like using a lambda in that case. Um, this is a real world case from my code, and um, I wanted to find something um, in my based on some condition in my container and erase it. All right. If I didn't find it, I wanted to assert. Well, if I don't make put this in a function, there's there. How do I do write this? How do I write this? I mean, there's probably some. I want to write this without any impact on the release code. I don't think I can't think of any way to do that without putting this in a function. <laughs> How does that help? Oh, just to skip from here. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Could do that. Could do that. But with this, all I have to do is this. And if you prefer, um, which I actually do, you could do this instead. That, somehow this is even a little cleaner. But that's personal taste. You can also do a break out of way inside, right? Doing it with a go-to. Ah, this is kind of structured programming, right? <laughs> There's a lot of ways to spell this, and interestingly enough, the spelling of it was a big sticking point. I thought of this actually this week, this um, using if, and you could use something new, you could use final, which we already have. These have been suggested. I don't care how we spell it, but I'd like to see it happen. If you're interested in this, please do me a huge favor. Ping me, right? Really easy. Just CPP at my name. Please ping me, and I'm going to send you a survey and you can fill it out for me. That would help me a great deal. Thank you. I have 22 seconds. Questions? Thank you.